hello how to solve for x in this equation 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of minus x is equal to 4 solution we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of minus x is equal to 4 now let's multiply all through by 2 to the power of x. This is 2 to the power of x bracket 2 to the power of s plus 2 to the power of minus s is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. Then here, 2 to the power of s multiplied by 2 to the power of s plus 2 to the power of x multiplied by 2 to the power of minus s is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. Take note of this that if you have a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n. And this can be written as 2 to the power of s plus s plus 2 to the power of s plus minus s is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x and this is 2 to the power of s plus s this is 2x plus 2 to the power of x minus s is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. Now, here is 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of s minus s. This is 0. is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. Take note of this that if you have a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m n. Then this can be written as 2 to the power of s all square plus 2 to the power of 0 is 1 is equal to 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of x. And this is 2 to the power of s all square. Here will be minus 4 multiplied by 2 to the power of s plus 1 is equal to 0. Let 2 to the power of x is equal to y. And this can be written as y square minus 4 multiplied by y plus 1 is equal to 0. Then here we have y square minus 4y plus 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. Let us solve this using quadratic general formula. We have y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4, c is equal to 1. Then we have y is equal to minus bracket minus 4 
plus or minus square root of minus 4 square minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiply by c is 1 over 2 multiply by a is 1 y is equal to minus times minus 4 this is 4 plus or minus square root of minus 4 square that is 16 minus 4 times 1 times 1 that is 4 over 2 multiplied by 1 that is 2 y is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 16 minus 4 that is 12 over 2 y is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 12 can be written as 4 multiplied by 3 that is square root of 4 multiplied by 3 over 2 then y is equal to 4 plus or minus square root of 4 is 2 then root 3 over 2. Now y is equal to 4 over 2 plus or minus 2 over 2 root 3. Then 2 here 1, 2 here 2, 2 here 1, 2 here 1. y is equal to 2 plus or minus root 3 therefore y1 is equal to 2 plus root 3 and y2 is equal to 2 minus root 3 these are the values of y but 2 to the power of s is equal to y two to the power of s is equal to y1 is 2 plus root 3 and 2 to the power of s is equal to y2 is 2 minus root 3. Now let's consider this. We have from 2 to the power of s is equal to 2 plus root 3. Let's take the log of both sides. We have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 2 plus root 3. Take note of this that if you have log p to the power of n, this is equal to n log p. Then this can be written as s log 2 is equal to log 2 plus root 3. Let's divide both sides by log 2 divided by log 2. Then this, we cancel this. S will be equal to log 2 plus root 3 over log 2 Take note of this that if you have log a over log b, this is equal to log a base b. Then this can be written as s is equal to log 2 plus root 3, then base 2. This is the value of s from the first 
takes when y is equal to 2 plus root 3. Also, let us consider this. We have 2 to the power of s is equal to 2 minus root 3. Now let's take the log of both sides again. We have log 2 to the power of s is equal to log 2 minus root 3. Now we have s log 2 is equal to log 2 minus root 3. Now let's divide both sides by log 2. This divided by log 2 and this divided by log 2. This we cancel this. X is equal to log 2 minus root 3 over log 2. Then X will be equal to log 2 minus root 3 base 2. This is the value of S when y is equal to 2 minus root 3. We may check to confirm if all this answer is right or wrong. Now let's check, but I will only check with this. To check, we have the given equation 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of minus s is equal to 4. Then when s is equal to log 2 plus root 3 base 2, this can be written as 2 to the power of log 2 plus root 3 base 2 plus this is 2 to the power of minus bracket log 2 plus root 3 base 2 must be equal to 4. Now this can be written as 2 to the power of log 2 plus root 3 base 2 plus 2 to the power of minus log 2 plus root 3 base 2 must be equal to 4. Then here we have 2 to the power of log 2 plus root 3 plus this can be written as 1 over 2 to the power of log 2 plus root 3 base 2. This is base 2. That must be equal to 4. Take note of this that if you have m to the power of log n base m, this is equal to n. Then the whole of this can be written as 2 plus root 3 plus 1 over 2 plus root 3 must be equal to 4. Then here the SEM is 2 plus root 3. Let's multiply all through by Then the left hand side here, the SM is 2 plus root 3. So we have 2 plus root 3 bracket 2 plus root 3 plus 1. Everything over 2 plus root 3 must be equal to 4. So this is 2 plus root 3 square plus 1 over 2 plus root 3 must be equal to 4. Now take note of this that 
if you have a plus b all square this is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so the whole of this numerator can be written as 2 square plus root 3 all square plus 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by root 3 plus 1 over 2 plus root 3 must be equal to 4. This we cancel this. Then we have 8 plus 4 root 3 over 2 plus root 3 must be equal to 4. Then here we can factor 4 out. So this is 4 bracket 2 plus root 3 over 2 plus root 3 must be equal to 4. Then this we cancel this. So we have the left hand side 4 is equal to the right hand side 4 which is true. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye.